Alrighty, so if you are joining me from the previous video videos, again, thank you. And uh, really sorry about the quality of the last ones. Uh, yeah, that was pretty sloppy. But anyway, here we go. Academy Gate Town. We're going to continue our exploration, exploration of Lyrnia. So we're going to make some marks. And that should be good for us. Let's get to it. Northeast. And do yourself a favor. If it's nighttime, uh, go ahead and pass time until morning. There's an enemy that spawns at night around here, and it can be pretty nasty. And there's no real need for us to kill it, honestly. First thing we want to do is we want some stone threes, and they are right there. And this is why we made the marks. Because that spell just has such good tracking and lasts forever. So, off over here, and a new side of grace. Just canceling out that marker there. And now, west, and a little north, for some more of those stone threes. Grab them, and another reason we bought crew poison, just in case. Right this way. We hit another side of grace. And then we're in pretty good shape here. This is actually kind of looping back to the Academy Gate Town a little bit. That's where we came from over there. This one's just a little further north. Grab that. No need to rest, we're in pretty good shape. We are looking for... That spot. And then some spots that are kinda tough. But it's there-ish. I'm gonna hit a couple spots over there. <laughs> we're not gonna get the map for that area for a bit yet. We will get it in this part, I believe. But we got some exploring to do down here before we go for it. And like I said, we're trying to be efficient with our time. So <clears throat> we're not going to run and grab it and then come back. And as you can tell, there's another mausoleum. Just keep that in mind for when you're off on your own and getting those remembrances. In case you want to copy any of them. We're going to grab a somber stone tier 3. It is on a chair somewhere. There he is. And now we're heading this way. We grab a grace and then a somber 4. That's going to let us get our scythe up to plus 4. And that's a pretty awesome scythe. This is another part where we want to kind of stick close to the shore. There's a lot of stuff going on in the lake that we don't want to mess with. <clears throat> sure wish I could quit coughing during all these videos. Sorry guys. Alright, we are looking for a side of grace first. Should be... I know we're close. There it is. We're gonna grab 
grab that. And we're going to switch to our bow because we're going to need it in a second. Run over this way. This guy's hiding a little bit if I remember right. I've only done this top part. There we go. A few times compared to the uh, beginning parts. So, we are now heading this way. Again, kind of sticking close to the shore. We are once more looking for balloons. And there's a start of them that way. There's going to be five of these. Pop them, move on with our lives. I feel like I missed one. Maybe not. You definitely want to avoid the enemies that drop from those two. They can be a little nasty from time to time. Nice shot. Just kind of split them down the middle there. Should help you avoid them. And one more. Right there. Side of Grace. And we will rest here to de aggro all that stuff. Um, on this little island, there is another memory stone if you want to solve a little puzzle. Um, I didn't include it. I think four slots is plenty. Uh, yeah. So. If that's something you want to do, go for it. Be my guest, etc. We're going here-ish. There-ish. And there-ish. Not necessarily in that order, though. <clears throat> because after we go here, we're going to shorten our trip. Back there is what we're looking for. I'm just running over the marker to cancel it out. There are 14 with a lot of these little dudes here. So be careful. If you want to stop and kill stuff, not the worst idea. And now we need to get out of aggro range. So we can fast travel. Just kind of heading this way. Back towards the grace. There we go. And we are going back to the Folly on the Lake side of grace. As said, in that little uh, graveyard, if you just want to kill everything, um, they're not hard. 
And as you can tell, they can be very, very annoying. Make you lose count of how many runes you actually picked up. There were supposed to be 14. I'm not going to go back and look if I got all 14. It's going to be helpful. So, we are on our way to... <clears throat> Very, very useful little spell. <clears throat> that right there is what we're looking for. He's going to run. Blood Fame, Blood Flame Blade. Awesome spell. It does not work on the scythe, but if you were using the Uchi Katana and you thought, eh, this is pretty cool, it's a great spell for it. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it works with a lot of other weapons as well. You may run across one that you end up liking more than the scythe. Um, you're not required to do every little thing I'm doing here. Rest to the aggro. And we're going to clean our map up just a little bit here. Because we're going to need those markers. You know what? We're going to fly without them. We'll do without them. We'll be fine. We're going to go back to. Sorcerer's Isle, save us some time. <clears throat> and we've got four tasks, all pretty close to each other and a lot easier than the stuff we've been doing. We are heading west this time. I am decided I'm going to mark right there, because there's a grace a little bit south of it. That's kind of kept a, keep us on track here. Oh, I think I actually placed it pretty well. Yep, there we go. So, side of grace. Sounds like we got some aggro, so we're going to rest to get rid of that. That takes a couple seconds. Yep. Now we're going to grab a map. Right. Up here. And now, straight through this doorway. And we're running right at what looks like a wall. Well, what is a wall? Only, it's not. Strike that. You know the drill. Brace. Rest to the aggro. And now we're getting one of the more useful NPCs along with Kale and Roderick and whatnot. This guy's EG. I presume. Oh. I him a couple times. So perhaps you... oh, well, He's got some I advice for you. If you come to I am after you talk. Then we're going to talk. This territory. When the Raya look after Levacarian by Kanjat is wine, unless you... And now... Blythe's he's got that bit about Blyde. At any rate, I've If you remember, I told you that was going to enable you to get something cool. This is where it pays off. We need to use at least a 12 and a 4. That's where that 12 comes in handy. But we'll pause there, Something do some purchasing. We want the Carrion Filigreed Crest. That is something that's going to allow you to save how much FP you use on your skills. Very useful. We can't use it right now because we still need the Sorcial equipped. 
Now we're going to start strengthening our weapons. Scythe first. All the way up to four. And we may have enough. Let's see. We have just enough. Yep. In pretty good shape. Might not have even needed to use the 12. Probably got a little bit of ex extra XP in some places. Anyway. Once more. Back to Folly on the Lake. And we're going right in there. And we're about done with this portion now. Just about to wrap up. <clears throat> so, we're going to come through and down. East. Now we can start making our way south. We're looking for poisonous water. That's going to tell us we're on the right track. There we are. Right in here. We're looking for the opening. It's around here somewhere. Here we go. <clears throat> you may want to do this path again um, after beating the boss of Stormvale. It's a good place for our lantern, by the way. Uh, because there will be an NPC here, and it'll help make your life a lot easier on something. But we're just running. All the way up to the side of Grace. We are going to head up the hill. There will be an enemy up here that we need to kill. Again, it's a quality of life thing things easier. Kind of hard to see, so just be ready for them. Weapon art a couple times. Done deal. And now, we're looking for that pot. And we're going to roll into it. Please, no. Dear me. Put up with this dialogue. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then? Well, <laughs> oh, I will finish. The curse my beg you. You must keep. And if you should, then please. And sadly, the medallion, it's only a quaint thread for dear. This guy well, is alas. done. <laughs> Off he goes. So we got that Haller Tree medallion. We're going to go to Round Table Hold. That's going to be the end of this. And oddly, we're going to need to be ready for a fight. It is typically a... Uh, you're not even allowed to draw your weapon there. Or swing it or anything. But this is a little exception. He's going to come to our left. Again, hit that weapon a couple times. And done. sure how great he was, but then again, we do have a pretty beefy scythe at this point. <clears throat> so now, he drops that. We're going to go back to where he was standing, 
And I'm not sure how necessary this is, but I just love this set. And it's certainly better than what we're wearing. As long as you don't go over a medium load. Which we do there. So we'll unequip the bow. Actually, we're not using the shield much. There we go. And now you look amazing. Like a Grim Reaper. Especially with the scythe going on. So, that is where we will cut off this part. Again, I hope I've been very helpful to you. And hope you enjoyed the video. And I also hope I'm going to see you on the next one. Take care.